That's exactly what I'm saying. The food is terrible, the atmosphere is even worse. I'm never coming back there. <sighs> Moms. That's how you talk to your mom? Yeah, she's a tough old broad. She'll get over it. So what happened? You didn't get the one million new fans. I thought you could do that in your sleep. A million fans? Man, that's not easy. What, you think I'm just gonna pull a million people out of thin air? I ain't no magician. No, you're an NBA star. You can do whatever you want. I'm sure you've got some famous friends you could just ask for a favor. I saw you talking to Pharrell the other day. You gotta think creative. Creative? I'm trying to play basketball. I ain't got time to be creative. What you need to do is bring a deal in here that doesn't involve me doing the impossible. Okay, I hear you loud and clear. Jeez, make my job harder so you don't have to do any legwork. Yeah, do your job. Hey, you promised me a shark tank. I don't see no sharks up in here. This is not shark-worthy behavior. Whatever. Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome to the Western Conference Finals. We actually have home court advantage in this game. I have no idea how going against the Clippers here. We're the sixth seed, and this is the second series in a row we got home court advantage. And as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, apparently, I mean, I didn't get a million fans, but at the same time, I didn't even get to play a game before they like gave me a chance because since we swept the last team we played, we thought the alley to Trevor Ariza, uh, we might be Lob City, but yeah, um, since the last game we played, I didn't get a million fans. They didn't give me their chance. Like so we swept them. So I guess the 10 days or whatever it was the week passed, so that ended up hurting us and we don't get the Gatorade contract, I suppose. So that was random as hell. As you see, we're off to a great start here. Denny ties two three-pointers early on in this game. JJ ready trying to take it to the rim. It's rejected by Jones on the break. Harden to tights to Ariza. And Ariza slams it down. Ariza too fast break jams here early on. We're getting the crowd hyped up right now. Now they're starting to double team Denny since Denny's making plays. And now it's up to the other guys to make plays right now. For us to really run away in this first quarter, it's up for the other guys to make make plays but in the meantime i'll try to do all i can i'll get the steal i'll get the layup after Harden bricks the three-pointer we got the 12 points early on this first quarter so that's a very high amount and we're just killing them right now so now we got to get the assist rating going up here so we give it to ariza open three ariza bricks it though um deandre jordan on the rebounds out there once again we're trying to get the steal here on cp3 but it's in the paint to blake griffin and griffin gets it to go that's just and of course i got that leave assignment thing that's just the 50 50 balls that sometimes can decide games we got to make sure we get those as hard and now misses the three and it's like I mean someone's got knocked out one of these right they're gonna double team me again and it looks like they're double team off of hard and you see JJ Reddick giving that look and he double teams away hard and open shot finally Harden comes through now my teammates are one for four off the double teams out there as we get the block and Spencer Haas starting another fast break I see Kyle Singler wide open but Singler passes it back I ain't call for that crap you <laughs> an open layup man I want to yell Singler like what what do you what part of that idea did not sound good? Open layup, two points. And it's like alright. You know, I don't know what else to do in here. This is just bad luck here because I mean if anything I probably should just let that ball go to the backcourt before I picked it up so that fluky thing didn't happen, but that's just you know, that's just product. I guess it's James Harden's throwing up the alley up to Tice and oh Denny Tice over Blake Griffin off the backboard from Harden. Check it out. Denny Tice. Actually that's not over the backboard, but still I mean Jesus, man. That's not how you throw an alley-oop, though, but they get bailed out because DeAndre Jordan gets the catch and immediately puts the shot. Goes to the free throw line there. We're still up by six, and we get the big-time block, but again, DeAndre Jordan's having an offensive impact. And that's the one thing. That's a, one of the two things you don't want when you play the Clippers. For DeAndre Jordan and J.J. Redick to have offensive impacts. You want to keep them out the game. Well, not really J.J. Redick, but mainly um the small forward who in this game is um, Chris Douglas Roberts. As we find Ariza in the corner, and Ariza cashes in. Now my team is just starting to make those shots out the double teams, which, you know, we battle need and here once again they're just sucking in me and then James Harden what are you doing man but um yeah we don't you don't want the, the role players to have an impact in the Clippers games man you want CP3 to be taking a lot of shots and Blake and unfortunately CP3 gets that and went to go there and what was starting off as a really good game we had the lead for the most part the Clippers finally chopped it up they got the lead or they got the game tied up though we're trying to get the lead right back and we missed back-to-back -back threes Harden misses the open three I missed the three though we do get the steal here we are gonna reclaim the lead off of Denny Tice two-hand dunk right there it's a tight battle in um, um, Toyota Center, right? Yeah, and I mean, no one's getting injured right now. That's the story. Is unfortunately we got a second turnover there. Just a mistake by me trying to push the ball up court there. Harden just wasn't able to hang on. And Blake Griffin gets the one hand jam there. But yeah, no one's getting injured. That's the way we won our first two series, kind of because Dirk got injured. Um, Duncan was injured. Parker was injured. 
and Monte Ellis was injured. So that's a bunch of top players. It wasn't just players that got injured. It was the top players on the last two teams we played that got injured. Right now, everybody that full strength in the Clippers are a well-oiled machine right now. Blake Griffin getting the alley-oop there. Dwight kicking it out to Denny, who put CP3 in the air with the pump fake and gets that shot to go. In the third quarter, I mean, we're just trying to... Um, actually, it might have been... Yeah, third quarter here. We're trying to gain an advantage, and no one's really breaking away right now, so... And this game might just come down to the wires once again. We're not able to get the third, um, the 50-50 ball, and then JJ Redick drains the shot there, and we're in the fourth quarter. And now the Clippers definitely got that advantage. We're up seven just now, but Denny Tice chopping the lead up. It's a three-point game. We're trying to ride our hometown crowd momentum here. Is oh wow, CP3 gets blocked, I believe, by Dwight Howard. Then on the break, Ariza back to Harden, and Harden tries to dirk the shot. I was talking about Dirk earlier, but that doesn't mean you got to try his shot out there. Like, Harden, what are you doing? And why did Ariza even pass that in the first place? Just a horrible fast break as Harden not able to get that shot to go. Every every few times a game, like two or three times a game, I'll give Harden an isolation shot with like five seconds left in the shot clock when we got nothing going. And unfortunately, that's usually what happens there. CP3 just a mean step back there. Did not see that one coming at all, and he definitely got me on that one. So now, it's a five-point game. James Harden actually making this shot here. Back to a three-point game. And, you know, we got to get some stops on defense here. But mainly, we got to get something going on offense. Our defense is really doing too bad. As once again, the 50-50 ball not going our way. It's tipped right to Haas, and Haas goes to the free throw line. Off of Dwight Howard's fourth foul. And then... Okay, that's finally a 50-50 ball that goes our way. It starts up a break. We have a chance to take the lead. James Harden all the way to the rim, and he misses the reverse layup and in the paint. I believe that's a reason we couldn't get that shot to go either. So two chances to take the lead, and then a third chance here for me, and I just went for hero ball. I was just getting frustrated with no one making shots, and I just put a bad one up there. That starts a big-time break. Somehow, it was like a three-on-one, so I really didn't know what to do there, and... You know, eventually, J.J. Reddick gets that bucket to go there. Then in the paint, Trevor Ariza not getting that one. And once again, it starts a Clippers fast break. Two people sucking on Douglas Roberts. J.J. Reddick, tough shot. Gets it to go back to a five-point Clipper lead. And it's kind of like that Spurs series now. We get close, and now we can't get that lead, though. Dwight Howard makes the jump shot at the end of the shot clock there. So that was kind of a bailout shot. Just kicked it to Dwight, and I don't know how we got to go. And there, just me and James Harden on, not on the same page right there. That's a turnover. J.J. Reddick gets it. And once again, fast break shots are killing us. They're not really getting much going on offense. I'm telling you, man. We're playing some pretty decent defense. I'm guarding up CP3 pretty well, but our offense is the problem. Dwight Howard just missed a shot with JJ Redick on him in the paint. That's embarrassing. That is straight up embarrassing, man. So now we just got to take some three pointers and hope for the best. I drain a three right there, make it a six point game, but. Now, all of a sudden, the lobs are starting to go down. Blake Griffin gets in a double coverage there. I'm about to put up another three-pointer just for the hell of it. Because, oh, CP3 is playing off me. I don't know why. They give me a C-minus shot, but that's wide open. I'm taking that any day of the week, and I'm getting it to go. And it's a five-point game. And now I'm taking another three-pointer, and it's down. He's got it to go. And it's a two-point game for Tice with 50 seconds left. And CP3 immediately going and getting that shot to go. I don't know you give me a loud minute to score for that. That was a tough layup by CP3 right there. Not much you can do to stop that as we find a wide open Trevor Ariza and after all the three three-pointers in a row I put up I knew they were double teaming me and I knew I had to find the open shooter it was Ariza I'm okay with Ariza taking that shot you just got to make it and he didn't so you know that's what it comes down to and then we got that clear path foul which definitely killed us I don't know why my dude went for a clear path but that put us down by a ton and you see I make another three but this time finally the three-point barrage gets shut down at four in a row and we end up coming out with the loss in this game as Nick Johnson went through at the end doesn't really matter doesn't go down so you know just a tough game all around I didn't play my best game no one else really played their best game on offense and well, I played a pretty damn good game at 40 goddamn points but um I don't know man I don't know what we got to do to fix that in game too so leave a like in this video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more 2k 15 micro games and I'll catch you guys next time where hopefully we could turn it around in game two.